Howdy folks, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey with the Mighty Jingles. And when last we left our intrepid hero Cassandra, we were on our way to Corinth, one of the major powers of the ancient Greek world during the Peloponnesian Wars, an ally of Sparta, and a bitter rival to Athens. Focus Jingles, don't get distracted by the shiny mercenaries. There's not a huge amount left of ancient Corinth. The city was destroyed by the Romans in the middle of the 2nd century BC, and then whatever was preserved was mostly wiped out by a magnitude 6.5 earthquake in 1858. Corinth, a city of pots, prostitutes, and not much else. Ah yes, the prostitutes. There were actually two classes of prostitutes in ancient Greece, the hetere and the pornai. Now the pornai were what most people would think of as a prostitute, and interestingly, it's where we get the word pornography from. The Hatare were more of a sort of high-class courtesan, kind of similar, broadly speaking, to the geishas of Japan, or the companions in Firefly. They were educated, they were cultured, they were a higher quality of prostitute, and they often had long-term clients that they formed lasting relationships with. Here in Corinth, the Hetere and their leader Anthusa, who is the person we're here to see, uh, have an unofficial but strong influence on the city's politics. Now, a lot of classical historians argue over whether there was actually any kind of real distinction between a Hetere or a Pornai, or whether or not Hetere were even prostitutes at all. Uh, nobody really agrees on the subject, but here in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, they're prostitutes. Very expensive ones, and that's why we're looking for them in a porn iron or brothel. Alcibiade said the Etera here could help me find my mother. I should look around for Anthusa's whereabouts. We're unlikely to find Anthusa in a common brothel, but this is a very uncommon brothel. I'm looking for Anthusa. Is she here? Wouldn't I like to know? Sunrise, sunset, I save my drachmi for the taste of the divine. The Etera are hard to come. So you haven't seen them? Not with the mongers' army on the loose. The Terra won't tolerate that. The monger? What? I will need to investigate further. Very pretty lighting in this place, I have to say. Not sure where they're getting all the purple from. Aha, uh -huh. another clue. I haven't done something wrong, have I? I? Swear I haven't. If you have, you might see me later. I'm looking for Anthusa. Phew. You know her? No one really knows Anthusa. And the Hetera got pushed out of here ages ago. Huh. Pushed out? So someone didn't want them here? We don't like to say his name, in case his men over here. Just know the Hetera were forced to move out of Corinth's markets. Can you tell me where they've gone? I haven't seen them since. I swear it. I can't afford to pay him. Hmm. Then I'll keep looking. Someone around here's gotta know. Till then, I'll be on my best behavior, Miss Dios. So somebody's forcing the Hetere out of the traditional places of business. And apparently it's got something to do with someone called the Monger. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I charge less than the Etera. But do I ever know my way around a hay bed? Is it just me or is that really creepy? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing. But Anthusa's special. She talks, they listen. I haven't met any Etera yet. Don't believe all you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth. But for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise. Can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Etera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Etera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill. The Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. 
result. So, we have to reach the Acro Corinth. No pay, no play. If you want your precious Etera, go to the Temple of Aphrodite. Well, it kind of makes sense that we be hanging around the Temple of the Goddess of Love. Alright, well, we know where we're going. Let's go. There it is. Like the Acropolis in Athens, it's situated in the most prominent part of the city. But whereas in Athens, the most prominent part of the city is dedicated to the goddess Athena, from which the city gets its name, uh, here in Corinth, the most prominent part of the city is dedicated to cock. <laughs> oh, hang on. A cultist clue is nearby already. That was quick. What can I show you? Remember this blacksmith, by the way, in the market here in Corinth. I'm just going to get rid of all of my excess rubbish. This guy actually carries a cultist clue in his inventory, so be sure to check him out and buy it from him. It's right down at the bottom of the list. A tattered Spartan flag sold by a deserter. And hidden inside the flag is a note from a defector which reveals the identity of yet another member of the Cult of Cosmos. Whoever they are, they belong to the subsect known as the Heroes of the Cult. Let's have a look. Empty words are best left unsaid. Palace the Silencer. Level 45. So we're probably not going to go after him just yet. For now, this is where we need to be. The temple on the top of the Acro Corinth, which shares the location with a very large military fort by the looks of things. Right, somewhere up here. Well, if we can't find Anthusa herself, there's bound to be a Hetere around here somewhere. People come here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real beauty. It is one hell of a view. Also, there seems to be a quest down there. Let us investigate. That looks like Alcibiades. Well, city of prostitutes, where else would you expect to find Alcibiades? Let's go and have a word. Nice view. It just got a lot nicer. I was hoping to see you again. Alcibiades, what are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on the move. I've docked my ship in every port. I'm sure you have. If you're here for more than the view, I have a task for you. It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. I know I'm going to regret this. I'll help. But it's only that little box? One should never judge something by its size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. He's talking about his cock again, isn't he? You said this package isn't from you. Why do you have it then? It simply came into my hands, that's all. The Theodoros asked for my help, like I'm asking for yours now. Why can't this Theodoros deliver it himself? You're a curious one, aren't you? Some questions don't have answers. Sometimes things just... are. You've traveled a lot. What's your favorite place to go? Oh, a personal question. Interesting. The world is filled with beautiful places. To pick my favorite would be like picking my favorite Etera. I could do it, but the answer changes based on my mood. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger... assets. And I just tell him it's from you. <sighs> no, uh, from the Odoros. Don't forget, the Odoros. Yeah. It will surprise probably none of you to hear that the guy that we're supposed to be delivering this package to isn't near the Corinthian military fort. He's right in the middle of it. So, yeah, once again, Alcibiades fails to provide all the necessary information in order to complete one of his jobs. But we'll get to that in a moment. For now, we're looking for clues as to where we can actually find this Anthusa person. Oh, look! Some people who need stabbing. Well, I'm just the right mercenary for that job. Is that it? Oh no, there's more. 
Thanks for the warning. That doesn't happen too often in this game. Right. Thugs successfully stabbed. Who were they? And why were they looking for the Etera? Got me into a little bit of trouble with the law, but hey, I stabbed those thugs for you. Uh, yeah. They think this temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. <sighs> the thieves are here and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers men in Corinth. There's that name again. Who walks around with a name like the monger? Don't let him hear you say that. Last time his name came out of a fool's mouth, the man's tongue was sliced out. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. So he's hunting the Atera? For money? Exactly. Since the Etera bring in so much Drachmi, he wants everything they control. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. So he's a pimp. If you know of the Etera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's everywhere. Though I've never seen her. But the Etera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pirene down the mountain. They meet clients there, and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. Oh, shit. They won't be coming back Mercenary here nearby. Soon. Uh, do I really want to slaughter them in the grounds of the Temple of Aphrodite? I mean, they're on legitimate bounty hunting business. I just slaughtered a bunch of thugs who were roughing up innocent worshippers, and that got me into trouble. Demetrios the Cleaner. Uh, his loot isn't that good. But, yeah, what the hell. They all need stabbing. See if I can take him out with a critical assassination. Yeah, I can. Nice. Another mercenary defeated. Okay, good stuff. There'll be another one on the way, but that's bought me some time. Let's see if I can find this Anthusa person. Ah, here we are. Is that her? Ah, so Cassandra hey, it is her. Found us. You know me, and you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Hey, Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had the talent to say you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word. Emissari. That's me. And now Cassandra and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. I'm not sure I'm happy about this. There is a killer on the loose in a city with no morals to begin with. You can't just follow me around like in Kefalonia. The monger, the cyclops, I made it all the way here, didn't I? <sighs> yes, you always find a way. We need to move inside, Cassandra. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. What do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway. Long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. Yeah, here it comes. As long as you tell me what you know, sooner or later, you will have to trust me. You don't get to where I stand without credibility. My word is yours. And you can always trust Cassandra. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If you say so... 
I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. You have a deal? A wise decision, dear Mystios. I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? From what the worshippers say, he's someone I should watch out for. They're right. I'm sure his victims wish they'd been more vigilant. My eyes are wide open. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing a Terra? Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, Damalis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble? I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find the Malis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse, in the port of Lecheo, and burn his cargo. All of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Then the warehouse will be Cinders. Now, I don't want to get sidetracked here, but I have a couple of questions. If my mother came to Corinth to seek help from the Hetere, and that's when Anthusa met her. Anthusa doesn't seem very old. This would have been 20 years ago. How can she have been a Hetere 20 years ago? How young do they start in this place? Oh, there's another mercenary on my trail. I'll have to keep an eye on him, but first we have some business right here. So you're here to help us, Mystios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has changed. He was a decent man once, but now he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our Drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in, as though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this, so he can go after them next. He might anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. Right, so we've got a number of different irons in the fire here. Help out Damalis. There's another of the Hetere by the name of Irina. Who also has a couple of problems. The Monger's warehouse needs burning down. Let's not forget, I also have to deliver a package from Alcibiades to somebody inside that fort. And there's a mercenary on my ass. Let's deal with Alcibiades package first. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. We'll try not to stab anybody unnecessarily. Well, that lookout is gonna see us unless we get into cover soon. Yeah, we're good. Probably gonna have to take care of him. Like I said, I'm not going to stab anybody unnecessarily. <laughs> that doesn't mean nobody's going to get stabbed. Right, he's down there. Captain's over there. Uh, oh, and that's the Corinthian national leader on his way. Surrounded by a whole bunch of elite guards. This is not Sparta, <laughs> but it's close enough. 
I mean, seriously, standing with his back to me on the edge of a cliff like that, how could I not kick him off the edge? Take some loot here. Right, we're getting close. Unfortunately, because we haven't really weakened the nation power of Corinth, the national leader is located inside this fort, and he's surrounded by a whole bunch of elite guards. But now that we've weakened the nation power by, you know, destroying their supplies, killing some of their guards, particularly that elite captain, We've weakened the state to the degree... Come on, get up there. What's going on? There it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to have to deal with the signal fire. Don't want the brigaded reinforcements. Because they're getting very suspicious. But now that we've weakened the nation power... And we're about to weaken it a little bit further. I'm taking this guy out. The nation leader's elite guards will leave him. already weakened the state to such a degree that a conquest battle is available. And at this period in history, Corinth was allied to Sparta, hence why lots and lots and lots of Spartan gods in this fort. But if I can fight the conquest battle, we can swap control of Corinth from Sparta to Athens. Okay, there's more of them coming, but they're non elites. And that was the fort commander. I actually have a quest um, to return to Demosthenes in Athens with the seals of three Spartan fort commanders. So that's handy. And I think... I think we're mostly good. There we go. I didn't have to stab anybody unnecessarily. <laughs> I could probably take out the national leader while I'm in here, but uh, let's at least try to keep our mind on the job at hand. Ah, screw it. Why not? I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. I've killed most of them already anyway. May as well do the rest. I mean, I've half completed the location objective. I may as well complete it. That's both of the captains killed and the Polymark. One war supply of three burned and some of the loot looted. And let's not forget while we're here, hand over this package <laughs> for Alcibiades. Some more loot. Don't need it, but it's part of the location objective. Well, I say I don't need the loot. I mean, you can either sell or scrap for materials, the stuff that you pick up. And I am picking up various pieces of different legendary sets from all of the cultists that I'm killing, and some of the mercenaries have legendary gear on them as well. And in order to continue to keep upgrading this stuff to match my current level, it requires a lot of materials. I mean a lot of materials. So even though I'm not really using all of the stuff that I'm picking up, I could still scrap it in order to keep my gear up to date. A couple of minutes later, I'm just looking for the last piece of loot. There it is. Some drachme. Some precious gems, and there we go. Acro Corinth 4, location completed. Now to sort out the delivery job for Alcibiades. It's in here. And knowing Alcibiades, this is probably going to be amusing. You are the Mystios I sent for. What do you want? This is for you. Give it here. Is this some kind of joke? This is a cast of someone's dick. <laughs> this is for your wife, Elia, for when she starts to miss me. Tell me now, who oh, said Oh, Alcibiades. Although, no, wait, it's from Theodorus. Yes. Do you know a man named Theodorus? Theodorus? He'll pay for this with his life. 
I'll destroy his men. I'll destroy his ship. He'll regret ever touching Thalia. Well, I don't know who Diodorus is, but I wouldn't want to be him right now. <laughs> oh, Alcibiades, don't you ever change. I was just starting to miss you. I hope you delivered the uh, package. Vardas threatened to kill the others when I told him. I also wasn't expecting the package to be, well, that. It was a nice surprise, wasn't it? I can make another one for you too, if you'd like. Another one? You... It was mine, yes. It looked good, didn't it? Oh, too I much information, to Alcibiades. Too much way, information. Now he will be. I impress myself sometimes. Whatever you say. Why don't we let our bodies do the talking? Sure, nope. you had thoughts of it as well nope. when you saw the cast of me. No. Nope. Not gonna happen. Here? Before the gods? Well, it is the temple Let's of Aphrodite. Nope. <laughs> not, not a not chance. <laughs> not Aphrodite while I still have my self respect. Maybe another time. Ah, you gotta admire his persistence, if nothing else. Alright, anyway. What's next? We've still got plenty to do here in Corinth. Oh, it looks like the national leaders retreated to the temple after the fort got sacked. <laughs> Completely accidentally, of course. Nothing to do with me. Well, speaking of accidents, there's the body of a mercenary here who appears to have accidentally tripped on the stairs and broken his neck. <laughs> like I said, nothing to do with me. Anyway, focus jingles. We oh, hello. There's the national leader. Oh, there's a mercenary right there, but you'll note that all of his guards are now no longer elites. Ah, what the hell? Why not? Stab, stab, stab. Got him. Ooh, wow. That's an instant three star bounty. And there is a bounty hunter right around the corner. They they don't appear to approve of assassination of heads of state around here. Who'd have thought the ancient Greeks had such a bad sense of humour? Which is kind of surprising considering they invented the comedy. Well, you know, the theatrical comedy. Aristophanes, that arsehole in Athens, uh, was particularly noted for his comedies. According to him, anybody could write a tragedy, but a comedy? That took real skill. Right, let's finish this guy off while he's stunned. Okay, right. Yeah, we appear to have a bounty hunter problem. Two of them nearby, potentially a third on the way. Let's get out of sight. Plan how we're going to deal with this. Who's this guy? Electrona the Pungent. His loot isn't particularly good, but we can always scrap it. He's level 32. All right. Takes less damage from assassinations. Boo. But takes more damage from ranged attacks. Ah, oh, that gives us something to work with. I mean, I don't have to kill him. He is level 32. I'm only level 30. I can just avoid him. But, yeah, where's the fun in that? So, takes more damage from ranged attacks, does he? Okay. I'm going to attempt to knock this guy out. Because he does have some very useful crew skills. There's a second mercenary right down there, though. All right, let's check this guy out. Thessalos, Goat Hunter. Ooh. Ooh. This guy has some very nice uh, ship crew skills. I mean, his loot's garbage, but... Mm. And he's only level 30, same level as me. Far more likely to be able to take him alive. Yeah, that's some very, very nice ship crew skills. Okay, choices, choices. Let's at least attempt to knock this guy out. Ooh, that was a useful crit. As was that. Unfortunately, he shoots back. Still got 15 knockout arrows. Of course, it helps if I actually hit the target. Stop that, you. Another crit. I could do this. Another crit. And another one. Ten arrows left. I'm going to do this. 
Oh yeah. One more. One more and he's out. Hold still. Oh, okay, two more. Gotcha. And without alerting any guards. Right. Oh, another one. Yulios the Balanced. Three mercenaries up here now. Okay, we've dealt with this fella. Let's recruit him quick. I'm hiring sailors, and I'll pay more than you've ever made. One of two mercenaries dealt with. All right. Oh shit! There's a third turned up. Here's the smelly one, two levels higher than me as well. And one of them appears to be using poison attacks. Ooh. Fire attack, not good. Okay, this guy is two levels below me. I should get out of the poison cloud and probably deal with that guy first. Do you know the explosion there, by the way? Top tip. If there's a poison cloud around and you fire a fire arrow through it, it will explode. But let's try and remove this fella from the equation first. Because he's lower level. And then deal with a level 32. Get the poison arrows up. Try to get a poison stack working on them. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Don't panic. He's nearly down. Keep trying to keep that one off balance. Get the poison stack up on both if possible. We dodged it. Ow. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're alright. Looks like the level 28 has enraged. So much for my plan for killing the easy one first. <laughs> but this is working. It's alright. I don't know if it's stupid, but it works. It ain't stupid. Oof, got to get out of there, got to get out of there. Finish her off. Got him, one left. Damn it. Dodged my kick. Mercenary defeated. And they have some epic gear on them. Not legendary, but, you know, epic. It's good, I'll take it. Recover some of my arrows. Right. Now that hasn't eliminated the bounty, but it's dealt with the immediate threat of the bounty hunters in Corinthia who were responding to the bounty notice. So it's bought me some time at least before any further bounty hunters turn up. Now, I can continue to deal with the bounty hunters as they arrive, or I can pay off the bounties myself, or I can find the person who posted the bounties and, you know, persuade them. Yeah, that's that's the phrase we're looking for. Persuade them to call the bounties off uh, by encouraging them to horribly, tragically, accidentally and fatally cut their own heads off while shaving, so to speak. I'm sure you get the general idea. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. The Mongo's warehouse needs burning down. Damalis has a client who's turned a bit funny and Erini also has some kind of problem, but we're not entirely sure what. And Erini is actually quite nearby. But then again, so is Damalis' client, or at least Damalis' client's house, which is just up ahead, indicated by the quest marker. So since we're in the neighbourhood anyway, we may as well go poking around. Here it is. Oh, that's Phoebe. Phoebe, what the hell are you doing here? Good, you found me. Shh, what are you doing here? I heard the Mali's talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. Phoebe, this shit is dangerous. Fine, but you have to do as I say. No games. I know that already, because you never let me have any fun. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at Faye's pig farm tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? 
to get something from them. A deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Dinomenes. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the spy. Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good, but if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. Now, I hope you were paying attention there, because the information that Phoebe gave us is very important if you want to pull off this particular side quest without any unfortunate stabbing incidents. <clears throat> Do I know you? No, but I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. And here it is. Which one was it? It was the pig farm. You're going to Fair's pig farm. And meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Every time you get it right, Phoebe steals some evidence. He's getting a deed. They owe you a deed to some land. What that land will be used for, I don't know. A spy? What if you get it you wrong, he up. turns around and spots Phoebe. And he's meeting the that guy. will be quite upset if I don't let you meet him tonight. How? What do you want? I know about the Malis. And as her client, you seem to think she owes you something. I do love her, you know? With my whole heart. And yet, you're scaring her. Better me than another more careless man. Either I hurt the Malis or I'm killed. That's not love. It's weakness. You say it as though I don't know. He knew that too. That's why he's making me. Who's making you? Tell the Mollis I'll stop. That I'm sorry. Fine. Here, old man. Right, so the old fool's being pressured by somebody into... Well, putting pressure on the Mollis for some reason. But we got all three pieces of the evidence, so let's go and see what Phoebe found. Let's see what we found. I wonder what this means. What's this? A coin purse? His things aren't very nice, though. If he's rich, why have all that junk? He must have just gotten paid. I've seen that iron poker used before. Yes, we have seen somebody who likes to torture people with red-hot pokers. It's not used for fire. It's a weapon for torture. I saw someone use it in Fokis. Someone huge. Yeah, one huge of the cultists. Like the monger? Just like the monger. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. Yeah, I thought as much. And it says more. That he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. There's directions. What do you think it is? Don't know. But I'll find out. Right behind you. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. Fine. Oh, I almost forgot. I got the sword from you from his house. Wow. You're a good thief. Place to bring the Malis. A prison? I should find out. Yeah, it's not a prison. A prison would be better. It's not too far away either. Let us investigate further. This is it. Chains? Oil? This can't be what I think it is. Oh, yes it can. Uh, this is a torture chamber. Oh, mercenary nearby. Let's check it out. There they are. Danias the Greased Camel. Well, I'm pretty good in here. He's not going to find me. So let's focus on the matter at hand. Well, I say it's a torture chamber, but that's not 100% true. It's a domination chamber for clients with a particular taste. A lock of hair. It smells familiar somehow. Ooh, the mercenary. Let's grab the loot while we're in here. I can probably take this guy out quite easily. 
I don't particularly need their stuff, but it will at least get them off my back. Right. Back to the investigation. This place was actually quite well hidden. Well, there are another two clues in here. It's blood. Lots of it. And uh, that blood was nothing to do with me. Yeah, the other clue was actually inside the chamber. There it is. My like what is this? Strap on tits, Cassandra. That's what that is. Gotcha. All right, oh, fantastic! Who sent you? See what happens when you don't do as you're told, Phoebe. What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave, Phoebe. Now. Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sexandron, and the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. It's stabbing time, boys. Yikes. This one stabs back. Gotcha. Right. So, this shithole is where Damalis' client was being paid to bring her. You know, I, I really don't think she was into that sort of thing. I mean, I'm not judging, <laughs> but I don't think she'd be particularly happy with this arrangement. Cassandra, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Cassandra. It's all right. You had good intentions. I thought I could sneak in, like before. I'm glad you didn't. Especially with what I found there. What happened to you? I just left the monger's sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. He'll leave you alone now. He gave me his word. So, we really can trust you, can't we? We're not all so easily blackmailed. Oh. Right. That's Demalis helped out. Now for Eri, what's going on here? They don't appear to like whatever it is he has to say. So, next. Monga's warehouse, or... Find out what's wrong with the Rini. By Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. Why call on the gods when you have one of their messengers at your service? How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. Kidnapping her? Huh? I'll bet you the monger's behind it. Follow me. Who do you think took her? It wouldn't be the first time the monger's men came after one of us. Some are worried they'll be taken next. Corinth may have a bad reputation, but it wasn't always that way. He used to be safe. Until the monger. We're not sure why he came here, but Corinth is worse off because of him. Well, we're at the port. Where's this ship? That better not be it. 
Because if it is, we've missed it. There. That's the boat our client described. Please get her back safely. Judging by the design on the sails, that's a pirate ship. This sounds like a job for the Adrastia, which luckily happens to be parked right nearby. Barnabas, let's get this ship underway. We've got some pirates to kill and a prostitute to rescue. Ready for departure! Under. The cult, Herodotus. They're worse than we thought. What do you mean? Narholis? I found this woman, a priestess, who stole my brother Alexios away from my mother a long time ago. That same priestess was getting ready to take down the physician Hippocrates for his radical views. She can't. And she won't. But there are so many others out there like her. They're everywhere. And we will find them. We can. We will. And they're all gonna get stabbed. Just gotta catch up with this pirate ship first. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. The address here is a very fast ship. Just two complications. We can't sink it, we have to board it. Well, we can sink it after we've boarded it, but we have to at least board it first. And also, I need to watch out for these Athenian ships, because I don't want to accidentally get involved in a fight with them as well. Ramming speed! Oof, yeah, that's going to leave them off. Generated a weak spot as well. Okay. We've still got some fight left in them, but not anymore. And now we're going to close in and initiate boarding action. All right, boys, let's get in there and stab some fools. I've got the captain. He's a tough fucker, but he's only level 27. Not nearly as tough as he thinks he is. Got him good and poisoned. Looks like there's only two crew left. Only one crew left. He is an elite, but he's only a level 27 elite. Ah, oh, see, so you like using poisons. That makes two of us. Here she is. I'm here to rescue you. Wait, what's going on? You sunk my boat, pirate. Ah. Oops. Me? An outlaw? Oh, you wound me. What are you talking about? Mistios, please. We were heading to Mykonos, which is safe. If you'll take me there, I can pay you the toll I would have paid my crew. All right, I'll get you there. Next time my crew docks at Mykonos, you can depart. In the meantime, welcome aboard. Thank you, Mistios. This is what's best, I promise. Aha. Uh -huh. She wasn't actually being kidnapped. She was getting her ass out of Corinth while the getting was good. And I just sunk her ship. <laughs> Simple mistake. Could have happened to anybody. Uh, now I have to get her to Mykonos. Mykonos is a long way away. And it's right on the other side. I mean, right now I'm in the Ionian Sea, I believe. And Mykonos is in the Aegean Sea. So I, I would have to go all the way around the Greater Greek Peninsula in order to get there. And those are some very, very high-level waters with some very, very high-level pirate ships. Or I can just fast travel to whatever fast travel point is closest to Mykonos, preferably with a port nearby. This'll do. So we're going to fast travel to the island of Seraphos, summon our ship to the local port, Set sail from here to the island of Mykonos and send Cleo on a merry way, safe and sound, with no hard feelings about murdering her crew and sinking her ship. You've more than made up for killing my abductors, Mistios. Thank you. Do me a favor and tell your friends the truth next time. I'll consider it. Put my coins to good use and wish me luck. Good luck. So that's two of three jobs complete for Anthusa of the Corinthian Fancy Women. Complete the third job, torch the monger's weapons warehouse, and she's going to owe us some answers. All of that coming up in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.